What's up guys? How you all doing? Trust you guys are doing well. It's your boy Michael. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across the channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by. And um, to be part of the family, just subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So today I'm going to be talking about um, United Kingdom. Um, the reason why I decided to do this content is that um, I've seen a lot of mass movements, especially from Nigeria, um, moving to United Kingdom. Uh, when I say moving, I mean using student routes to move. So, if you've been following this channel, you've, of course you know that I talked about um, moving through student route. So, a lot of people I know, at least last year alone, I know about four to five people that moved to United Kingdom um, with their family. And that's why I decided to do uh, this content today to talk about um, the reason why you should consider um, United Kingdom or the benefits that you you are going to get so the number one uh, benefits you are going to get or oh, before I go ahead with the benefit let me say United Kingdom uh, is made up of uh, four country uh, England Wales Scotland and Northern Ireland so whatever I say here is applicable to those four country I just mentioned so let's go to number one so the number one point is um, ability to uh, relocate with your family if you are looking towards the student route um, not a lot of country has this opportunity um, should I say not a lot of country okay some country does not have this opportunity but for United Kingdom you have um, a good chance of going with your family and this is, is this is in regard to people who are married and have kids I know you want to put into consideration um, you know your kids well being your your wife well being you don't just want to leave them or you know vice versa if you're a woman you don't want to leave your your husband and kids so united kingdom give you that opportunity to relocate with them as long as you can prove to the um to the embassy uh, that you can cater for them or you can prove to uh, the school before they issue you a, your cars, of course they want to know how you want to pay the tuition. So as long as you can prove to them that you can pay your tuition and you can also take care of uh, the people you are bringing along, you will be fine. And I would say 90% of people that I've seen that relocate to UK with their family uh, get their visa. Yeah, 90% usually get their visa. So. If you are considering relocating abroad and you want to go with your family, I'll tell you that uh, UK has a better chance for you, uh, has a better opportunity for you and your family. So my number two is going to be um, opportunity to be able to work. Um, as a student in United Kingdom, you are not restricted to work uh, within the campus alone. Uh, so your 20 hours of work can be in the campus, can be outside of the campus, um, which is really, really good. Unlike here in the United States, that uh, F1 uh, students, which is international students, uh, uh, are restricted to work just inside the campus alone. So if, if you are not able to get a job in campus, then you cannot work outside. So that's a plus uh, for, for students in UK. Another thing is also is that your, your spouse can work outside uh, for 40 hours, work full time. So imagine what that can do to the family in terms of supporting the family. Uh, because you are being a student, uh, you don't want to have too much pressure on you uh, in terms of going to class, also working uh, to provide for the family. But having uh, the opportunity of having a spouse to be able to work is actually a plus. So that's one thing that I think that makes uh, UK uh, stand out and that's one thing I think most family who want to relocate should consider. So that's my number two. So let's go to my number three, employment opportunity. And when I say employment opportunity, I mean when you're done with your program, there's a high chances of you getting a job um, in UK. Uh, even if it's not in your field, you can always get a job. Um, outside of your feed, uh, at least to keep your soul uh, 
and body together. So employment opportunity, the lady I, I spoke to on my channel a couple of uh, months ago about uh, UK, uh, Joy Agure, uh, she spoke about how after her program she got a job. I know this, is my, this might not apply to everybody but you have, a, you have a high chances of getting a job after your study. So you might want to consider that as, as main reason because you don't want to go to a place whereby when you're done then the chances of you getting a job is zero. So take note of that. That's my number three. My number four is going to be um, you getting a work permit. Yeah. It's one thing for the job to be available. It's another thing for you to have the right paper to work. So uh, in the case of UK, as soon as you're done with your program and you did not violate your visa uh, uh, rules or regulation that bind your visa, uh, you are going to get two years work authorization, uh, which is really good. It allows you to be in the country to work and for your spouse to also work. Um, this is really good. I, in my last video, I spoke about how in America you only get one year work authorization. If you are in management or if you are in steam course, you can get two years. So, but in respect of your field in UK, you can get two years work authorization. So, um, my number five is going to be uh, moving from the, uh, the two years work authorization to tie two. There's what they call Type 2 uh, visa in UK. I think it's about five years. Uh, as at the time of recording this, I know it's about five years. So, uh, with you being in the Type 2 for five years, allow you to stay in the country. You can go in. You can, you know, you can go out of the country. You can come back, uh, which is really good. Uh, and after that, uh, my last is going to be uh, number six. Uh, from there, you can move to permanent resident. So, um, if your main goal is not just to go to the country and school, but you want to um, stay back in the country after your program, this is a really point that you should really consider. Uh, if you have a family, you want to stay back in the country, this is a point that I think you should consider uh, when you want to relocate. And I think UK, or I know that UK has a great opportunity for 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 a prospective international student to school there, uh, bring their spouse, work in the country after they are done with the program, become a permanent resident, and as time goes on, become a citizen of the country. So that, that is the information I feel I should share with you guys today. Uh, like I said earlier on from the beginning of this uh, content, I know a lot of people that have moved to UK uh, recently and I felt that I should share this information uh, to people, especially uh, people uh, who, are, who already have family and they don't want to go to a place where uh, it's going to be difficult for them to bring their wife or their family as a whole. So that's why I did this content. So guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you are presently in UK, you are watching this and you went with your family, you want to share your experience in the comment section, uh, let people learn one or two things uh, you know, from you guys. And also, let me know where you're watching from. So guys, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, turn on your post notifications so that anytime I drop the content, you get to know about it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.